Welcome to Excel Array Formula Series number 10. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Array Formula Series 1 to 14. Hey, trick number 10, we're going to learn a little bit about array syntax. In some earlier videos in this series and other videos that I've posted, I've showed you how to type in all the nasty syntax for arrays. But there's some cool tricks if you have the data already in the cells that'll totally avoid typing in all of the syntax. Hey, let's look at a simple example here first. Here's a table, and I'm going to have some VLOOKUP looking over here, looking up a product value and give me the price. But watch this. You could have this table, and you could right-click Insert, right? And it would insert a row, Control-Z. Or you could accidentally delete a cell, Control-Z. Well, there's an array uh, trick using an array syntax that'll allow you to create a table exactly like this, but you can't insert rows or delete. You can still delete the whole thing, but it will inadvertently avoid accidentally deleting a single cell. Highlight the whole range, exactly the same size as the table you already have in the cells. And in the top cell of the types, at the top, type equals. And then the whole range. I'm going to highlight the top two cells. Control shift down arrow. You can see right there, that is a weird formula, equal some range. But watch this. If you control shift enter, it, it enters an array formula simultaneously into lots of cells. You can see that up there. But there's one step even better. Hit F2. And then if you hit the F9 key, that is uh, evaluate and it will actually convert it to the actual array. Hit F9. Whoa. Just like that, it puts in all the nasty equals and curly brackets and all that. Then control shift enter. There it is. You have all your values in the table. No one can delete a cell by accident. Hit the delete key. That doesn't work. Cannot change part of an array. Try to insert a row. Can't do that either. You can still highlight the whole thing. And by the way, the keyboard shortcut to highlight the current array is control forward slash. Control forward slash. You could delete it that way. Now, that may be useful, but there's an even um, more useful way. What if you had this table and you wanted to type out all the syntax and store it in memory as a name? Here's a great trick. If you have it in all the cells, instead of typing it in, simply go equals, highlight the whole range, and then F9. Quickly, while it's all highlighted, Control C for copy, then click Escape. And then let's go up to names. Formula, define names, define names, define names in 2007. Earlier versions, insert names, define names. The keyboard shortcut that works everywhere is Control F3. And I'm going to click New. And I'm going to call this uh, Product Table. And I'm going to click down here in Refers To. I always like to hit Delete, type Equals, and then Control V for Paste. Click OK. Now we have this in memory. You can see it down here. Curly bracket means contains the whole array. Quotes are for text. Commas are for columns. And semicolons are for rows. Close. Now we can do some sort of V lookup. Oh, but wait a second. Control F3. There is something I forgot to tell you. There's a limit of 255 characters. So your table can't be that big. By the way, I always have notes up at the top of all these workbooks. There it is right there, limit of 255. So we're going to use an array formula to count all the characters over here. Alt equals for auto sum, type LEN, open parentheses, highlight the whole range, control shift down arrow, close parentheses. There's the formula, control shift enter. 165, we're under the limit, so it will uh, allow it as a name. Now let's do VLOOKUP using our name equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is this right here, comma, and I forgot my name, so I'm going to use F3. That's the paste name keyboard shortcut. I'm going to double click product table. There it is. It puts it in. We need comma 2 because the thing we're returning is price in the second column. This is 1. This is 2. Comma. And this is not an approximate match. It's a false, but instead of, because we're looking up words, but instead of false, I'm going to type 0, close parentheses, and then enter. There it is. It looked up a 9. If I click in this cell, I can do the keyboard shortcut for currency format, Control shift 4 Now I can simply change this to whatever I want. 
and there I have it. I'm using that table from memory. All right, that's a little bit about array syntax and some tricks. We'll see you next Array Trick.